let's talk about LEGO Marvel Super Heroes. Recently, I beat this game once and then watched my nephew complete it. It's a pretty fun ride with a decent story, pretty cool characters, and some fairly basic puzzles. But is it accessible? Unfortunately, the game does not have a lot of options. It has redefinable keys with controller support. I played through this game with a controller, however, I did have a lot of bugs when I tried playing it using a keyboard, whereas the keys just wouldn't uh, work. There is a bit of reading in the form of hints. However, in the options menus, there's no way of adjusting these. The game has a really charming Lego aesthetic. However, this would lead to there being several contrast issues, especially with trying to figure out different points of interest when you're playing the games in the different levels. A lot of the puzzles in the game involve you trying to look for bricks of a specific color and interacting with them, and with there being no way to actually adjust these set, like these colors in these settings, uh, it can be a little tricky, especially when you just need to find the thing that you need to do. The HUD too is not adjustable and can be quite tricky to deal with. Luckily, the game is quite forgiving. When you die or aren't able to do something, you simply just respawn. You, you may lose a few bricks, but that's it. The game does support subtitles, but there is no customization for those subtitles. The directional audio is pretty basic, and at some points it's actually pretty difficult to take advantage of. All in all, I'd recommend this game if you have usable vision, or if you're just looking for something quick to play with some kids around, uh, this is a good choice. I will warn you that this game does have a lot of bugs and glitches, however it's quite charming. The bugs, you can overcome them by just simply restarting the game. It's just simple and just a good time, and I think it's well worth uh, the effort of overlooking those glitches and shortfalls that the game might have. As an overall experience, I'd give this game a 7 out of 10, because it is pretty enjoyable. However, there is a lot that could have been done to make this game more accessible.